July 12, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and five months since the invasion of Crimea. Day 504 of Special Putin's operations. Big picture. Russia may be experiencing severe shell hunger, in addition to real hunger in their often abandoned troops. The total number of areas shelled by Moscow were numerous, however the number of shells used in each attack appear to be reducing greatly. Ukraine is reported to be consolidating recent gains and rotating out previously attacking troops. Kremlin mouthpieces are claiming their troops in Luhansk are making gains. Heavy combat continues in the north, and airstrikes have become more common in this direction. Dnieper line. No reports from either side about infantry combat along the river. Shelling continued overnight, and as noted the number of shells which impacted were cut by over 25% from where they were on the 8th of July. Zaporizhia front. Other than Kremlin attacks against civilians and children there is little being reported from this front. It is believed that Ukraine continues with patrols in this area. Shelling continues, but is also reduced significantly from July 8 levels. East Front, Donetsk. Fighting continues in Marienka and Avdiivka with Ukrainians on defense. Shelling was numerous overnight, again with a minor reduction in shells. Bakhmut area. Shelling and airstrikes reported in numerous locations, no reduction in shells here. It is reported that Ukraine is consolidating gains in this area after weeks of heavy attacks. Oskil border front. Moscow is reporting to have advanced two kilometers to the valley village of Torsk, a few miles east of Lyman. Ukraine has not confirmed or mentioned this attack. Fighting ongoing at Novosolivsky. Heavy shelling on this front. Northern border. The Kremlin continues shelling civilian targets in what appears to be an attempt to create a dead zone. Hospitals in Kharkiv may have need for generators, according to some news reports. Black Sea. The Kremlin's Black Sea fleet, currently capable of launching a salvo of 12 calibers, just launched a salvo of some number. Targets were unknown at time of writing. A motorbike appears to have exploded, wounding two men in a residential area in Theodosia, Crimea. Ukraine world related. Israeli charities are said to be donating a number of water condenser units to provide clean water to villages on the right bank. The Biden admin believes that Ukraine needs artillery more than attacks. We can't tell the difference, except range and options. France has slated 50 long-range 1,000-pound air-launched guided missiles to be shipped to Ukraine. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.